look at our some of the book of the silk that we have to check. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get it. Okay, good. I'm going to start like this. Okay, I'm going to get it. 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 Focus on the elbow block. Good. Elbows in it. Good. Now important when you have this aim, you don't want to raise your head too high. Okay, when you are too high, put up. That could be pushed back to it. You want to stay at about this. The reason why we review this is when you have your hand about so the flux right here, any force that okay, up push, any force put to you, you have to do this. And if you have five like that, then you can push to me, and then you have the shoulder. So the form reminds us to, okay, I do this anytime when somebody plays the force on the head, you want to go too high. You want to be soft to the elbow. That's what I'm looking for. Circle, good. Back. Okay. Right. And you will push, hit and push. When you do the push, somebody can back, you want to push the elbow today. So now you have this push back there. You have to have this elbow down with the push, yeah? Good, if you have an elbow out like that, you push it like that, that's a solo. So you want this. This is the key for us to any time you have a force, you need to hold, hold a person to put the elbow down. That's what this goes for. Right? Nothing to do with the wrist, it's about elbow down. That's what that means. This will, what, what will you belong to this group? What will you belong to this group? What do you call that? What is that move is uh, minus R. Oh. Oh, you What the function of the action? Bring your elbow down and somebody wrap your head. Okay. This action right here, resist also. We push it, we resist it. We have to resist it. You use the elbow to hold it, right? When it push to you, you slowly let it go down to your hip. With the hip turn. That's it. That the resistance. So even if we move it in, Okay, but we move in the resistance. We're not moving the collapsible way. Not that like person push us like that. So when he pulls us, we do collapse. So they're gonna cut, but not this way. That's why the force teeth are move back. You have this, move back in. That's it. Right? Yeah. So we don't let him to push you, but we don't resist it. We turn. Exactly why we make the follow way. And that's why we have to push the elbow. That's it. Repeat that three times. Elbow push. Turn the wrist with elbow resistance. Yeah. So when you do slow like that, your hand start into the habit of anything happen, and we'll do it correctly. Elbow hold. Elbow resistant. Okay. Right? Okay, from here, the next one we develop how to block. Block not using your palm, but using your elbow to block. You have a strike, also using elbow to strike. There's two moves. One teach you when the block comes, you do a passive block. Yeah, no, no, block is not block. Palm block. Remember that palm block? To do that one up, just be a force. And have your block there, hold it, you will use this. Instead of you using this, that's why the form. See, now it just reveal the block. Like you know? uh, no, 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 it is a block. It's also for a strike. What happened is, did you get elbow and your hip? Kind of exercise that exercise. Make any time the block. I need to hit somebody. My hand automatically use the elbow of the hip. Rather than we actually use this, you know, like this jump, right? That's why it was. In when we hit, same thing. This one teach you again. The strike comes from the center of your body, never come from the shoulder of your body, which is most people, when they think it's strong, they go like this. Our strike come all, all the way in front of you and come up. What happened is, again, that power comes from the hip coming out. Over so here, that will hit the up. Right? Uh, good. But if we hit the person like this, this will be your shoulder. That's why it was in the form as well. Block, how to strike. 
right? 